Hey guys, it's Gronk from Texas Street Cars in the shop today. We have a 2000 GMC Sierra. Uh, really clean, really original truck. We'll go over all the details of it. We're really excited about this one. We did a little bit different setup on it than we do on most of these MBSs. So we'll get into all those details in a second. But to start off, the truck is a 41,000 mile um, 300 truck that's always been the south of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Kentucky before coming here. All original paint, has all the badging on it, all the, the side moldings, everything's still factory on it. Really good paint finish on it. Um, 5.3 V8 automatic transmission, 342 gears. It is an SLE, it's still got the little side badges on it. So it's all power, power mirrors, locks, windows, tilt, all that stuff on it. So really good option truck and great ownership. Uh, scores at 84 on auto check. So scores really high, no wrecks, nothing like that. So starting off really good truck. Well, it was all stock when we got it. What we did is upgrade suspension brakes, all that stuff. So we'll get into the details of that. Um, it is back to the original stuff. It is pewter exterior with gray interior. So, and it's a 2000, the early NBS trucks I really like because they still have the kind of the OBS style steering wheel and they were a little different colors than the later NBSs that were just charcoal or tan interior. So, um, suspension wise has QA1 adjustable coilovers in the front with Beltec spindles. The rear is a Beltec flip kit with QA1 adjustable shocks. So you have height adjustability in the front as well as shock rebound and everything there and then the rear shocks are adjustable. You can firm them up, soften them to wherever you like. Great stance on this truck. And then it has Beltec front and rear sway bars. So the bigger front sway bar and then these trucks never came with a rear sway bar. So the Beltec rear bar, which really tightens the truck up, gets rid of some of that body roll. This truck handles really well. It's very fun to drive. Uh, brakes were upgraded. It's got the AZ Pro Performance 14 inch front brake kit, which uses some bare components, bare rotors, pads different brackets. So really nice setup up there. It fills out that wheel nicely. The rear has the AZ uh, rear kit. Is the It just has sl slot and drip rollers and the bare pads in the back. So it is a four-wheel disc truck from the factory. Wheels and tires are 20 by nine and a half inch front and 20 by 11 inch welds. Uh, Ventura 6s. Then it's got Nitto 275 40 20s up front and 315 35 uh, 20s in the rear. So the tire in the back really fills out the wheel well nice. Got a really nice look from the back. You can look through the pictures. And so that's brake suspension, all that set up really nice. Right now in this video, it has a stock exhaust on it still. It's going here in a couple days to get a stainless exhaust with a Corsa muffler. Underhood is got is all stock, really clean underhood on this truck. And we just added a little air raid cold air kit on it. So it's got that on there. Open up the door, look at the interior. All factory interior, still got the, the factory GM mats on it. Dash is in perfect shape. Headliner's not falling down anywhere. Factory radio, steering wheel, the leather's really soft still. Everything works, lights, gauges, locks, all that stuff's working. We have two keys, all the manuals for this truck, and even a little GMC like CD holder that it came with. But door jams are all super clean. Door panels aren't ripped, cracked anywhere. The truck even smells new inside. So really, really good condition. Bed has a uh, plastic bed liner that's probably been in its whole life, so it's still in there. Um, I think that's about it. So really clean MBS, it's fun to drive, good suspension upgrades. And this is the first one we've done sway bars and the brakes and the coilers and everything. So it really makes a difference as far as handling. I think the stance is really, really good on this truck. So we will go take it for a spin here in a second and say anything that I forgot. guys we will go drive the 2000 gmc around 
Well, we, this is later than when we were making the first video. So we got the exhaust on it. Now you can hear it in the drive-by videos, but it's a Corsa stainless muffler with a Corsa tip run up out the factory side. It's tucked up real nice. It sounds good. Got a deep tone to it. You can hear it in the startup part of this video, but not overbearingly loud. Uh, really cool little exhaust. I like it on this. We did that and the, the cold air intake. There's an air raid, I think it's, no, it's a, which brand is it? It's air raid. Yeah, nice air raid intake with a box. It looks good under the hood of this truck, but this is one of my favorite NBSs we've done with the brakes and everything else. So good power. It's a 5.3 truck with a little cold air exhaust. Maybe it picks up a little bit, but has a good tone to it. It's fun to drive. This truck handles really, really well. So like we were saying inside, uh, Beltec front and rear sway bars, I think it's probably one of the bigger differences. And then the QA1 coilovers and the adjustable rear shocks you can kind of play with this set it where you want like we were talking about earlier but i really really like this truck sharp great stance the wheel and tires look good the 350 on the back looks really mean on the truck when it's sitting there like from a distance and i love the way this truck looks so we're at 70 in here this truck is really quiet inside no rattles nothing falling off interior super nice steering wheels clean again this is one of my favorite MPS trucks and the brake upgrade it brakes really well and the brakes look incredible behind as well. So factory stereo, everything in here is nice. We're 41,396 miles is what we have on this truck. We'll go up here to speed again. It's up to 60 or so. This is fun to drive. I really, really like this truck. The color, stance, wheels, I think we, we, everything works real well together on this truck. Um, TXStreetcars.com, there'll be a, a link in the in the description of this video that no one ever checks. But that'll take you to all the details, pricing, photos, VIN number, everything you want to know, as well as to the financing link on our site. If you're interested in financing, go on there, click on that, and it will walk you through how to do that. 254-383-3517, um, you can call or text us at that number if you have any questions about the truck. And then we'll have, I think we have... 80, 90 pictures of this truck up. So look through all the pictures. It really is nice. Underside of the truck's nice. Uh, we have some pictures up of the, the frame rails hanging all real clean. Underhood is spotless. This is just a very, very solid, nice original truck that we did. Uh, some nice stuff too. So it's ready for you. If you want to drive like this, show it, cruise it, add more power to it. It's really good. Look how good it takes this turn. No matter how much stuff we do to the OBS trucks, they still can't really compete with rack and pinion steering now. Nope. The steering is so much better on these trucks. But, and we talk about all the time, the NBS, the early NBS trucks, the 99 to 02, you know, the different front end for the GMC and Chevy, and they moved to the cat eye stuff and the big bumper GMCs. I just made that up. That's what we call those now. The big bumpers? Yeah, the lower jaw protruding. But I like these interiors. The steering wheel is basically an OBS steering wheel and the colors are different on the interiors. And this is the gray, it's all really, really nice. In fact, look at this factory stereo. Buttons are spotless. AC blows cold in this truck, heat works, all the power windows, mirrors, crews, everything. So y'all better buy this one or I'm just gonna keep this truck. Look at this. Uh, Nitto's on this truck all the way around and I think that's also helping the handling. So good tire on it. Man, I dig this truck. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. And thank you guys for watching.